Fully qualified domain names, or FQDNs, are used for identifying resources on a network. They are structured in a way that makes it easier when resolving their correlating IP addresses. A FQDN is made up of smaller parts that is structured into a hierarchy. Most common FQDNs consist of four parts. The root is at the top of the hierarchy and is represented by a period. Because there's only one root, it is always assumed that it is there and is not needed to be present in a FQDN. Second highest are the top level domains, or the TLDs. These are the .com, the .net, and the .org, to name a few. Next in line are the domain names. HeyMIT, CNN, and AOL are all examples of domain names. Last in the hierarchy are the web servers. This is where the websites are hosted and they are represented by the three W's. So how does this work? Well, when a local DNS server needs to resolve an IP address of a fully qualified domain name, it will execute a number of queries, starting from the highest to the lowest within the hierarchy. The local DNS server will first send an iterative query to the root DNS server. The root DNS server will then respond with a corresponding IP address of one of the top level domain DNS servers. The local DNS server will then use its newly acquired information and send another iterative query to the top level domain name DNS server, which will in turn reply back with the IP address for the domain name DNS server. After receiving an iterative query from the local DNS server, the domain name DNS server will respond with the IP address for the web server that is currently hosting the website. The fully qualified domain IP address is now resolved and the requesting client can finally connect to the website. So in conclusion, there are many steps taken when resolving an IP address of a fully qualified domain name. Its hierarchy structure assists the local DNS server when locating its IP address. That's all for now. Head over to HeyMIT for more information.